We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The Abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker in fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Hey, Drax? You all right? You must be feeling pretty crap about having to punch through all those cops back on the station. Uh, do not worry. I simply need some time to get my thoughts in order. Right. Never thought we'd have to fight Novacore. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Do you ever ponder how different your lives would have been had you joined the Nova Corps? If Quill really cared about this team, he wouldn't get turned around as soon as an ex-girlfriend walks into the room. Are you Groot? I am not! We almost got killed back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Leave us alone, Quill. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just finished the World Mind's postmortem on ineffective planetary scale battle tactics of the Galactic War. What part of this would help clear my mind? Assassin. You believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force? Doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. Quill. Seriously? Just make it fast, okay? See you never, Quill. So those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. Uh, 
nowhere. The last space port on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You were certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course, he's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. If I were Rocket, where would I be? You are not. He was much shorter and covered in fur. I mean, hypothetically. And you would have lived a completely different life, and your location would be irrelevant. Thanks, Drax. You're welcome. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? Yes, if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway. Once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. How do we f Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. He met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. Hmm. Them on several planets. Strength is one of the things most galactic culture. That and walking on two legs. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. <laughs> Nexus, what are you... Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? 
No? Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Okay, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh you poor... No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. First time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes. This is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green me. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. This is a place to forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. What is that smell? I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu, nowhere security. Super official. Go other way, Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in Dower. He out there, Star Lord, in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose.
Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Cosmo? That you? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one. The lady wanted, so hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ace want him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, uh, lady ace, whatever lady hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross lady ace. Uh, the triple. Uh oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, Ross. Cross. Sit down, have a choga dog. Over. Lady Ace said you'd be a Time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, 
It's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Before shooting, Peter! <laughs> be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? 
It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really want to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. <gasps> oh, shit. Please, no! <laughs> 